Hello and welcome to Leo Full Moon video. Leo Full Moon will be happening on the 28th of January 2021. Now, Leo is a passionate sign. It's expressive, it's about self-expression, it's a fire sign, and it's fixed fire as well. So your heart, that fire, what gets you going, what basically inspires you about yourself. A lot of self-value is in Leo. It's ruled by the sun, but now it's in the moon. <laughs> so having this full moon here really allows us to go deep in to ourselves about our talents, are we following our heart? Because Leo rules the heart, our passion, and really going after what we want. If we want that ideal partner, if we want that job, if we want to push for our desires, Leo pushes for it. It really goes. It's that fire energy. It's the heart. It really gets you going. That's what it is. It's that energy that feels exhilarating. It's our inner child. That's what Leo speaks to, that childlike energy within us where you know when you're young and that's what you're passionate about and you go after it. You don't hold back, you know, and you also have this ability to be courageous about the things that you want. You have this energy to really push for it, but it's a full moon and it's Leo. So here we have to release a bit. We're going to need to definitely release because the sun is an Aquarius, an air energy conjunct Jupiter in Aquarius. We also have Mercury in Aquarius, Saturn in Aquarius, all this energy in air, the opposite of Leo. The opposite. It's, it's, it's not with Leo. So, you know, the moon is just by itself there with all this energy on the other side making us think about the world at large, the collective. What are we doing to add to the collective? What energy do we bring forth? And the sun is also in detriment in Aquarius because the sun is actually ruled by Leo. So in detriment is like, it's not its best position. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. So sun in Aquarius is like really thinking, you know, about people outside of yourself, groups, the collective, the world at large, other people, their needs. And there's this moon in Leo wanting to express itself with all this energy on the other side of having to consider now what's happening on the other side. What's happening with everyone else? How do I connect in a different way? Aquarius wants us to think outside the box and be original with our thoughts, with our ideas. And Jupiter wants to expand because it's conjuncting on that energy. So it's so important where you keep your mind. That's why I brought up the idea and the thought and notion of the sun being a detriment in Aquarius. Because ultimately you can get lost and fixated on thoughts of things that are not working for you. Things that are really not feeling or sitting well with you. And I mean fixating. It's a fixed air sign. So air is about our thoughts, our communication, overthinking and having communication within yourself that is to your detriment and Jupiter expanding on that. It can really go that way. But if you allow this full moon to show you a new way to give you the energy to release what's not working for you and open yourself up to new ideas, a new beginning, a new way forward, a new way of understanding, a new way of connecting, a new way of sharing of information and finding people you feel accepted with. Because there is an aspect of having us to accept where we are feeling rejected and move away from that and move towards what we actually feel accepted and cared for. Whether it's our personal things that we do that we now want to change and it's not working like a routine where we might be you know, not sleeping well and now we want to create something where we can sleep but we're actually walking away from situations that are not working and that can include people as well. Remember both Leo and Aquarius, Leo is about self-expression when it comes around others and other people, it's about yourself, you know, accepting yourself and being yourself, being comfortable to be yourself. Aquarius is about Yes, all right, let's be yourself, but, you know, let's not be a jerk <laughs> as well. 
let's try and see how we can fit in how can we you know fit in but still be ourselves what is the consensus that's aquarius so it's important that you don't fixate on the things that take you away from yourself or over analyze and rather use this energy to allow for a new beginning and allow jupiter to be optimistic and expand on that because jupiter gives us that positive energy that rush of energy but it expands meaning whatever you are focusing on on that time when jupiter's there it's just gonna blow it up really that's what it's gonna do so it's so important to allow for it to blow up what you want to blow up for you what you want to make bigger what you want to expand on also saturn's in the career so you're going to have that reality check <laughs> you know saturn's all about boundaries it's about reality it's about structure it is what it is this is how things are so it's about having these new ideas but saturn's going to be like hey and mercury's also in aquarius so that means we're going to have lots of new ideas, a lot of thoughts. But remember that it's already in the pre-shadow period because by the 30th of January, Mercury goes into retrograde where we have to reflect on the past. So we will still be reflecting on the past as well around this full moon of things that have happened and how do we move forward? How do we be ourselves? How do we express ourselves? How do we share our talents? How do we connect from the heart to other people in this Aquarius way where we also see how they are and how we are changing as we are growing. It's okay to change. It's okay to let go of certain aspects of certain people or certain situations and move forward. You know, I think we beat ourselves up too much when it comes to us actually having to make a change, having to, you know, change away an idea. Say, for instance, you had a specific practice and now you want to change your spiritual practice and sometimes we feel bad about it but it is a process of letting go we grieve the parts of ourselves that we need to basically say goodbye to because in life we are forever changing and remember i spoke to you about this fixed energy it doesn't like change we think of something fixed it's that's how it is so now it wants this change also we have venus in capricorn with Pluto in Capricorn. So Venus is about how we relate to love, our money. It's also in Capricorn, so a lot about changing our values when it comes to our finances and how we move forward. With Pluto, which wants to show you hidden things and Pluto can put endings to things. Again, having to do with relationships, having to do with our value, our finance as well. And then we also have um, Uranus, Uranus and Mars and Taurus. And Mars and Taurus wants to basically take action on what we value. And Uranus in Taurus brings change. It's an electrifying planet. It brings information, sudden change. It wants to change you. Like, just blow you up in, in like an earthquake kind of way where it just shakes the ground from under you for you have this revelation and know that you can't continue in this way and you need to move forward in a new way this is a beautiful full moon if you allow it to basically change you and don't be stuck in that fixed energy that's why uranus is there that's why all these energies are there and then with the full moon this leo full moon there's going to be a try to chiron and aries chiron is an asteroid with works with basically our wounds our deepest wounds in areas of self, trining Leo, where we want to express ourselves. There's a lot within us that is changing about ourselves and how we want to basically put ourselves out there. The world is changing. That's Aquarius. It's showing you that. It's changing. It's moving in a different way. And now how do you adjust yourself in the way in which the world is changing where do you fit because a lot of us are going to be feeling like we don't fit i would say that this is a full moon where a lot of deep emotions can be felt i mean it's a full moon the moon is about our emotions in leo and leo is the energy of where we express ourselves express those emotions but in a fiery manner where we just like lay it all out there. So it can really put you in those kinds of spaces where all your feelings are out there, where you can feel a bit raw and tender. 
and maybe a little burnt. But if you accept those things about how you're feeling, you can actually work towards changing it. It's more the feelings that we suppress. It's more the things that we push away. It's more the things that we want to just, you know, put back into the closet and not look at. Eventually, it comes to a point where we have to actually look at ourselves. And this is the energy of self in Leo. Look at ourselves and look at how do we want to move forward? How do we want to move forward in every single aspect? If you've listened to this video and what I'm trying to express to you is that we're changing in major ways. Financially, emotionally, it's, everything is energy and we're relating to these things in very different ways now. The energy is in the air. It wants us to think in different ways about ourselves, about our connections, about the people we interact with. And wants us to walk away from things that are not aligned with our heart, the Leo heart, so we can truly find our path. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe.